Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a doggy themed mini album to share with you guys and I just love how it turned out. It is so cute guys. These doggy themed mini albums are adorable. So I'm going to share with you guys what this looks like. But before I do that, let me go over the paper collection that I used. So let me see if I have even the cover. I do, I do. Here we go. So for this, I used this collection called I Love My Dog from Echo Park. I have seen this in some of their warehouse sales. I just happen to have like six packs of these because, well, I love my dog, number one, but also just like, I mean, it's good that I have them because I've been using them a lot lately. This is like my third doggy paper pack that I'm using up this year in 2024 so far. Um, so, and I'm going to be using more because I have a lot more projects I need to make. But I use that collection. So here are some scrappies that I have left over. I have some small scraps. This was a boo-boo I made when I was kind of working on it. So I could still use that for something else. I have this scrap and this scrap. And then I have one, let's see, one, two, three, four more full-size sheets. So I could still make something with that. And then I have a bunch of stickers. So this one is the one from the collection kit. I used a couple. This is my other one because I still had left over. And then this is from a previous dog collection that I just used as well. Um, so I do have, you know, some doggy stickers to use up as well. But I think I'm going to be making, I don't know if I'm going to make a folio or some 3 by 4 size notebooks with this because I know somebody wanted some doggy themed ones um so i'm not really entirely sure what i'm gonna be making with the rest of that but let me show you guys what i even made all right so for this album i did some stitching on the front and on the covers as i always do but here I did like a little opening here so you could add a photo here and here and that's magnetized and then behind that on the front cover I also put in a tag with some seam binding. This is from my scrap cabin shop. It's where I get all my seam binding from. These are just some enamel dots that I made with some Nouveau drops and then I added in some paw prints from the collection but I just love this. It says the road to my heart is paved with paw prints. How adorable. I also have some like doggy themed ribbon on the side um, for a closure and then I have this on the spine so you can see all the doggies and then this on the back and I stamped this onto some craft paper because I thought it matched better than just all white and if you guys are looking for a tutorial for this there is a tutorial but it is a video class tutorial that you guys could buy from my Etsy shop there is five parts to this video series where I show you guys every single thing in detail. Down to stitching on my pages, attaching the pages, making all of the inserts, making all of these like little booklets and things. I literally show you guys everything that I did in order to make this from start to finish. I did not do anything off camera, everything was on camera. So there's five parts to that video class tutorial series so you guys could check that out um it also comes with a cutting guide so yeah very very useful and you could only access those videos with um with that purchase so otherwise you won't be able to see them they're not going to be here like on youtube you can only see them if you purchase the video class tutorial so i'm going to open this up and i'm going to show you guys what's on the inside so there's my ribbon tie closure Here's what it looks like. So here I have um, a sticker that I matted onto craft paper and fussy cut around. I made that into a little tuck spot and I added this tag in there. And that's just some, and also just some seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. Now this is like open here. So if you just, if you don't want to add the tag, you could add in a full size photo here, or you could still have the tag and still add in a photo behind that. Um, here, it says true love has four paws and there's another tag behind that then this flips this way here you've got another tuck spot with a tag and I added a cute little bow so that lives there here I have these two little tags in this little like tuck spot sticker so you could either 
choose to use these or or not i just kind of liked them they were cute or you could just even put them in here if you want um but i have them in here in this little tuck spot and then behind that i have this little booklet that just says hey you and you could add some photos and you could add in some more photos in that pocket as well you, you'll fit a decent amount of photos in here and like here you could still add a photo here you don't have to use the tags at all and if you want to add a photo here and you still want to use the tag add the tag back there like it doesn't have to be where i kind of put them um there's also an insert in these pocket pages so there's one insert there and he just kind of lives back in here there we go then this flips and here i have another um pocket and this just says dogs are not our whole life but they make our lives whole so you could add photos and you could add in a couple more photos in this pocket as well but it is it's not gusseted it's stuck down on both sides so you don't have too much space there um and actually hold on I might want to add a little sticker right here um, and we could go with this actually. I was looking a little plain as I'm doing this flip through so I was like okay we'll just add a sticker. I'm just going to round that a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to add that. Do I want to add that up here? I do, I do, I think I do. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. So, I mean, you can still also use this as a tuck spot if you'd like. All right, so there's that. I think that looks better with a little sticker. Anyway, moving on. Here I have this cut apart that says dogs add color to our lives and this flips out. So you could add a photo and add a photo here. Then this flips this way. You've got another cut apart and it just says some people will never understand how much I love my dog, but that's okay. My dog knows and I feel that guys. People that don't have dogs, like they don't understand. People that treat them like their babies they like that don't treat them like their babies they don't understand and I think it changes a little bit once you have your own human children from how you feel about your dog but I'm at the stage in my life where I only have a dog and she is my child so um anyway here you could add in some additional photos here then here you got another beautiful cut apart and it says without my dog my wallet would be full my house would be clean but my heart would be empty and then this little closure flips down it's like a swing tab closure and then this flips up so you could add additional photos and or journaling there and then I also have the little tag tuck spot back there with another color seam binding from my scrap cabin shop then this is magnetized here it's the only magnet I used in this album and I mean you can use more you could use one here if you want you could use one here if you want I didn't feel like it needed it but this one I did want a magnet um, and then this flips open, so you could add a photo here, you could add a photo here, and then here and here as well. There you go. And then this has another insert in the pocket page. So you could do some journaling or add another, another photo to there. Then the next page, we've got another tuck spot that says woof with this tag with a blue bow. And then here I've got a little belly band with a little teeny tag with some blue uh, ribbon and it says fur baby. And then in the pocket, I have a couple of booklets. So this one just says dog food and yummy treats and that flips open. And then this one just says bath time and that flips open as well. So you could add some photos in there. And then this flips again. Here I have like a tuck spot here um, that holds this tag and then this says first they steal your heart then they steal your bed which is so true <laughs> and that flips open you could add additional photos photo here photo there you could do some journaling on the tag or add a photo to one side journaling journaling on the back 
And then here, this is left open, but I think this is much better to add in a full size photo back here. So that's what I would do rather than a tuck spot. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So that is the whole entire album. If you guys are interested in the video class tutorial, I'm gonna have it linked down below to where you could purchase that tutorial. And I just love how this turned out. And speaking of that tutorial, I show you guys how to do this with 12 by 12 paper for the inside pages. But I also do a second video where I show you guys how to use eight and a half by 11 paper. So I made two of these bases really on camera for you guys um, in the video class tutorial. And then you get to choose whichever one you want to use. Actually, let me not tie that yet because I got to take photos. All right, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.